Welcome to Sachs in the Kitchen. I am Chef Scott Sachs. We are on week three of me cooking the recipes from the five most influential cookbooks of my life. The third cookbook, Party Food by Barbara Kafka. Sadly, um, as I mentioned on week one, we lost Barbara Kafka in the last year. She was a fabulous inspiration for people who love to entertain and people who love to cook. Just, just beautiful photographs in here. I cannot tell you how many, many of these recipes that I made and used as my own when I had my own catering company. But the overall recipe that always thrilled me most, well actually it's a combination of two recipes. One of them is a focaccia bread. She puts a tapenade into the focaccia dough. So it's like this black olive focaccia, and it's just so wonderful. And the second part is a tomato basil dipping sauce with all these luscious ingredients, and it's really one of the easiest, most flavorful dipping sauces you'll ever make. So let's first get the focaccia going, and then we'll put together the tomato dipping sauce. You could actually make this focaccia, this particular quantity, in your food processor. It is so easy to do. You can do it by hand. Uh, if you are going to multiply the recipe at all, you might not want to do it in your food processor. But we're gonna start by putting in three quarters cup of warm water into the food processor. And one, you need one packet of yeast. She said active dry yeast. But this book was done a long time ago. It was published a long time ago. So I tend to use instant yeast at this point. And one envelope is equal to two and a quarter teaspoons of yeast. And then uh, she says, let it soak for about five minutes to, to help it a little. I'm just going to get it going for a moment. Wait, 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 wait. What's going on here? <laughs> okay, come on. There we go. All right. So now, now we have the yeast and the water combined. And we're just going to let it uh, wait till it proofs for a few moments, and we'll go on from there. Okay, so our yeast and water have proofed for a few minutes. Now we're going to add in uh, two and a quarter cups of flour. And uh, let's just let it go for a moment. It's really good if we let this go for 30 seconds, and then uh, we're going to let it go for another minute and a half. So it's a total of two minutes. Let's see. Let's just scrape it down a little bit. Now look, I normally would put in some salt, some olive oil, but because we're going to add in a tapenade uh, of Kalamata olives, they're oily, they're salty, so there's really no need to add in the other ingredients at this point. And this is you asked for an easier way to knead dough, but this is not going to make a lot. And that's why the food processor works beautifully for this. Nothing works better. You can dip pita bread, you can dip anything into this tomato basil dipping sauce, but for me nothing works better than the, the, this um, olive focaccia. So, so see, here we go. What's nice is that this dough is very warm from the motor of the food processor as well. And all we do here is we're gonna spray a bowl, we're going to spray the top of this, you can also just brush it with olive oil and put some plastic on it and we're gonna put it away until it rises. So that's the next step. So look, our dough has risen beautifully. I can smell the yeast, okay it's a lot, but I'm really sick and I can't smell anything. And I have some Kalamata olive tapenade here. And, you know, you can make this by taking three cups of olive oil and a third, I'm sorry, three cups of Kalamata olives pitted and a third cup of olive oil and just pure putting them in the food processor. But let's first knead a little bit of the olives into this dough just by hand. And let's put it back in the food processor and we're going to add five tablespoons of flour, and we're going to add all of the olives. 
Let's process it just for a moment. Very fast when you're using a processor. And uh, let's see. Wow. That's gorgeous. Look at that. Okay, I'm going to go get a pan. I'll be right back. Um, you know, we've incorporated our tepanade into our focaccia dough. We are going to take a small pan here and oil it well. Even with the addition of the olives, we, we know that focaccia is a bread that needs olive oil. So then, uh, on a flour table, we're just going to get it rolled out somewhat. Let's see. Oh, I mean, this is gorgeous. This is, this is to me what focaccia should always look like. Don't you think so, Susie? Chef Susie? Don't you think that makes a beautiful focaccia? Yes, I like the marble effect. Well, that was an accident. <laughs> <laughs> but here we go. Let's just get it in there like this. And now we're going to have to let it uh, rise for a bit before we bake it. And while it rises, we can go ahead and make our tomato basil dipping sauce. Also, just uh, because, just because, let's get a little bit of olive oil on top. The uh, indentations. And let's go let this rise for a while. One second. So let me tell you how much I love this tomato basil dipping sauce. I used this recipe so many times in my life that pretty soon the page tore out of the book and I lost the page. So I had to buy a whole new book just to get this page. I now own both books. Uh, this is so spectacularly easy. Take a food processor or a blender these are canned uh, tomatoes with juice that I pureed before. And there's a cup of that. And we're going to put in two thirds of a cup of basil. Make sure you always pack the basil down. And we have, you won't believe this, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten cloves of garlic. You may do whatever you want. Let's put in a couple, uh, two tablespoons of tomato paste. And let's put in what will be about two teaspoons of salt. And we need also one tablespoon. Where's the tablespoon? The tablespoon. This is not a tablespoon, okay, one tablespoon or three teaspoons of lemon juice. And we also want a little bit of freshly ground pepper. And we also have here six tablespoons of olive oil. Yes. So this is it. And then you put it all together. nothing to this. But I'll tell you what, I can tell by the color it needs a little bit more tomato, so just a second. So we have our tomato basil dipping sauce. It has all these wonderful things in it that you saw. All these great ingredients. Let's see. Oh, that is so wonderful. Way too much garlic for what I can tolerate. I usually make it a plan not to eat garlic if I'm going to be sleeping with somebody, but of course nobody ever sleeps with me so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> what can you do, right? Uh, once we have the, the olive focaccia finished, to dip that in here, spectacular. Oh my, so the focaccia is out of the oven. It's beautiful with all of the Kalamata olives that have been mixed in with it. There it is, just really a great looking bread. 
You can also, this makes great croutons, you can toast this, but the main thing today was to take our tomato basil dipping sauce, dip it in. Come here. This is so garlicky. You know what? It does call for 10 cloves of garlic. I'm telling you right now, you might want to cut that amount of garlic in half if you are afraid <laughs> of garlic. Susie? <laughs> Hi, Susie. Hi. My co-teacher, Chef Susie. And you taste the garlic? Oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Very good it is really good. So uh, I hope that you try making this. Remember, this is from Barbara Kafka's book, The Party Book, and we will always miss Barbara. Thanks.